Australian water resources is uh, uh, reaching a point whereby I believe that in the next few years there will be significant changes in how we look at the management of Australian water resources. I think for a long time now we've been very dependent on uh, water resources that might be uh, based out of capturing uh, runoff from forested catchments in, into dams and storm water is simply seen as a bit of a nuisance uh, that pollutes our waterway. When music was first developed, I think it was developed initially to look at how we can prevent uh, pollution by urban storm water. But over the last three or four years uh, and, and, and moving on, we will find that uh, the whole notion of managing storm water as a, as a resource uh, will emerge. And you can't really manage it well and use storm water well as a resource without first and foremost ensuring that it meets certain water quality standards. So music will actually emerge into, into a new role of not just delivering good storm water quality, but also then facilitate the use of storm water as a, as a resource. The software is based on some strong understanding and insight on physical uh, phenomenon and uh, you know physical phenomena applies everywhere in the world the whole notion of urban storm water and quality pollution and so on that's everywhere uh, the, the main differences of course are soil characteristics and rainfall and, and of course as long as you have those information anywhere in the world you ought to be able to use the software to, to simulate what happens in an urban environment as far as storm water quality is concerned. Prior to music it was such an inexact science that it was very difficult for planners and policy makers to make policies and very difficult having made the policies for practitioners to actually look at how they can best comply with those policies. What music have done is to provide the tech, technical people, the engineers, uh, a means of optimizing and delivering solutions that would comply to policy. It gives the planners and the policy makers the confidence to make policies knowing very well that the industry have now got a tool to demonstrate compliance. So, I think that it's, uh, it's one of those software that is able to bridge uh, good science, innovation, as well as policy making. Of course, the science of stormwater management is still developing, but the, the biggest gain really is to get started. Get started in terms of bringing the industry together, both, as I say, from policy makers to the practitioners, uh, together in delivering improved stormwater quality. That big initial step, I think we, we've, we've done that, and that's been achieved. And from here on end, it is progressive improvement, stepwise improvement to the, uh, to the quality of the science and the application. There's always going to be a challenge between uh, at what point do we get to a level of complication that starts to exclude its wide application. And we're constantly looking at that. But from a science perspective, there's still a lot to develop. There's still a lot that music can evolve into. Uh, but what we have today, music version 4, I think captures the best signs uh, in a form that can be readily used. <laughs>